War Gaming's Who Would Win? <laughs> Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargaming.com. Welcome, Wargamers, to another Who Would Win. Today's matchup, Logan Grimnar versus Dante, Chapter Master of the Blood Angels. Two Lords of War fighting each other, and we're going to go over their stats and... As for popular demand, these two guys are fighting each other. Scott Yanos on the Mini Wargaming Facebook page left a comment and a lot of people thumbed it up and liked it. Hence this matchup. Let's go and see Logan Grimnar's stats. Logan Grimnar, High King of Fenris, this is what he's got. Weapon skill 6, Ballista skill 5. Strength, Toughness, Wounds 4. Initiative 5, 5 attacks, Leadership 10, and a 2 up save. His war gear, he is in Terminator armor, which means he has a 5 up invuln save. He's got a Storm Bolter and the Belt of Rust, which gives him a 4 up invuln save. His Warlord trait is Saga of Majesty, which means he gets to reroll his failed morale check. But it doesn't really matter so much because he has a stubborn special rule. And they shall know no fear, he's got acute senses, which really won't matter too much in this matchup because we're just going to deploy normally. Counterattack, which will help him out. He is Eternal Warrior, which will definitely help him out. He's an independent character, and he has an option to make Storm Rider his vehicle or chariot, but he's not going to do that in this matchup for points equalization purposes. Now talking about the Relics of the Fang, he is armed with the Axe of Morkai. He's got two different modes with this weapon. One-handed mode, which is Strength plus 2 AP3 melee, or two-handed mode, which is Strength times 2 AP2, unwieldy. So it's either he's attacking at initiative 5 or initiative 1. We shall see which one he will choose when the battle ensues. Now let's see what Dante has. Alright, so against Logan we have Commander Dante. He's got a weapon skill 6, ballistic skill 5, strength, toughness, wounds, all 4, initiative 6, 4 attacks, leadership 10, and 2 up artificer armor. So he also has an Inferno pistol, which will come really handy against Terminator armor. Uh, standard frag and crack grenades. Iron Halo for that 4-up invulnerable save, and a jump pack. Uh, now his Warlord trait, Descent of Angels, probably won't come into play too much in this particular uh, fight. Uh, and they shall know no fear. Uh, again, it'll be useful if he tries to run away. Uh, Eternal Warrior, which will be great against that uh, that Axe of Logan's. Uh, Furious Charge and Hit and Run, both of which are going to be great. Uh, and Tactical Precision, which again, probably no, won't become that important in this particular fight. Now for his weapons though, he's got the Axe Mortalis. This is strength plus two, AP two, and master crafted. This is gonna be fantastic for that fight. Uh, his other item is the Death Mask of Sanguinius. It, nice in a regular game, but because Logan knows no fear, it's not gonna play much of an effect in this. Today my opponent is Leland. He will be using Dante. Let's go and see how they fight on the battlefield because I'm excited about this. I'm excited, this is gonna be good. All right, Leland. Roll to see goes first. I get a one. You get a four. All right. I'll I'll go first. Okay. Yeah. I would think so. Yes. Would, yeah. yeah. That's what I would do. Yeah. yeah. I like going first. Mix. Dante with his jump pack. I always forget that. And artificer armor. Mm-hmm. And AP two initiative six. That's really good. That is. I'm kind of scared. I'm not gonna lie. He, he's supposed to be scary though. I mean. Yeah. He, he, he's the oldest space marine alive, right? You know, aside from Bjorn. Yeah, yeah that's just, they're, they're good buddies. If that's really alive. Dante's going to move forward 12 inches up behind those crates, making use of terrain, which I don't know why. i got a storm bolt there. He's a great tactician, though. There it is, yeah. And, that's if, true. yeah, yeah, yeah. and if you're going to try and charge him, I want you to go through the terrain. I suppose that's yeah. true. I do not have frag grenades. You're right. Exactly. Yes, absolutely. I told you, yeah, no, that's good. No, I see what you're doing there. Dante's going to run six inches, or a potential six. We actually don't know what he's going to do. He's going to go on the other side of that box of crates, which we're fighting over. That's why we're fighting, because we're brothers, aren't we? Exactly. Moving six inches towards Dante. And he's going to take a shot with the Storm Bolter, hitting on twos, wounding on fours. And that's one wound. Two up Artificer Armor save. That is a, f yeah, that's a pass. That's a pass. That's a definite pass. Yeah. We are nine inches away. He's going to declare assault against his brother Dante. And he's going to overwatch his Infernal Pistol. Sure will. Needing a 6, not nope. getting it, and I need a 9-inch charge. Oh! Nope! I need an 11-inch. Hey, there's those crates. Um, going through that terrain. Do I get it? Oh, 10! Oh. Oh. Just failed. Dante's turn. Dante, turn 2. Inch that way. He's going to inch forward, and, and what else is he going to... Oh, I know what you're doing. Now I see what you're five doing. 5 inches yeah, this five. way. I see what you're doing. I'm going to get my hammer right. I see. Infernal Pisso. Needing a 2. Yeah. Wounding on a 2. Getting it, and... Four up in bone save. I'm gonna make it. Oh, 
Dante! Why would you do that to me? I'm your brother! Dante's gonna charge in, I'm gonna overwatch you. You need four inches. Hitting on sixes with my storm bolt through, getting nothing. Now needing a four inch charge. Do you make it? Do you? Yes, yeah. you do. Could have rerolled anyway, and you do get your hammer of wrath, which will resolve right now. Wounding on a. Oh, off the table doesn't count. Wounding on a that. Yeah. Uh, that wounds me. Two plus save. That's a save. Oh, okay. And I'm definitely going to use the two handed axe of Morkai because you're higher initiative anyway. So I got to do this in one turn. Yes. Yes. Dante is at full wounds, and I'm at three wounds. You attack me first with your axe mortalis. Six attacks on the charge, you're hitting on fours, master crafted. Oh, good thing too, because you needed that. You only got two hits so far, and that is only two hits. Ooh, okay. Now you wound on twos, because of furious charge, and that's one wound. One. Four up in Volt save for Logan. He made it. And thanks to Logan's counterattack, he has six attacks back, hitting you on fours. That's a little bit better, getting four hits. Mm. Wounding you on twos. That's four wounds, slicing through your artificer armor. That is four, four up in Volt saves. Can you make it? Can you make it? Oh, oh two, two wounds. wounds. Dante's leadership down to eight. Can you make it on two dice here? Oh, you pass. Yeah. Okay. And since it is my turn, now you're not going to hit and run to disengage because that doesn't make any sense. Yep. Uh, I'd rather get to shoot you again. Yeah. Logan, turn two. Dante's going to attack first. Hitting on fours. Getting three hits. Mastercrafted. Yeah. Four hits. Wounding on twos. Yep. Strength six now. Yeah. Oh. That's three. Oh, that's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I got three wounds left, and I have a four up invuln save. So I should make two of these. Statistically! Oh! Oh, Dante! Oh. That's what you get when you pick on your elder. Vault members, click on the link below for our next matchup. Kaldor Drago, Supreme Grandmaster of the Grey Knights versus Bellicor, the Dark Master. Place your bets. Who do you think is going to win? If you're not a Vault member, we invite you to click on the link below so that you can see this matchup and sign up for a free 7-day trial. You'll be able to see not only this, but all of the other Who Would Wins that are in the Vault, as well as the Narrative Campaign Battle Reports and regular Battle Reports and Painting Tutorials. Vault members help to support us and enable us to do this and enable us to make as much content as we do. So we wish to thank you for that, and we look forward to seeing you in our next Battle Report. And as a bonus video, if you're also a Vault member, then you get to see the quick discussion of the post game for this little bit, talking about these guys and their tactics and uh, just how good they were. So click on the link below for that as well if you're a Vault member.